What's up guys, my name is Javier and welcome back. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at the Ryobi 18 volt inflator deflator, part of their cordless OnePlus line of power tools. I really like what Ryobi has done with their cordless 18 volt line of power tools as they have a huge range of tools. And they cover many different segments such as do-it-yourself tools, trade specific power tools, outdoor power equipment, and even tools such as this one for general purpose. I believe this is one of those tools we should all have on hand for use with our vehicle tires and our bike tires. And it's normal for tires to lose air pressure over time. And with a personal inflator, we can keep those tires topped off regularly for peak performance. Unlike other inflators that need to be plugged in to operate, this unit uses the widely available Ryobi OnePlus 18 volt batteries. Even if you had the old NICAD batteries, those will work on this inflator. I also like that it's got the latest bells and whistles, such as the backlit LCD display, a built-in air pressure sensor, the ability to set your desired air pressure, and a high volume air inflator and deflator. The main use for this inflator is for pumping air in your tires, such as your car tires, and topping them off regularly. But not just the main tires. How many of us forget to regularly inflate our spare tires? I know I did, as it's very easy to forget that spare tire that's stowed away in your car where you can't see it. But the problem is that if you were to drive on that spare tire, you can cause some serious damage to the tire if it's below optimal pressure. So that's one of the first things I inflated with this inflator. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how the inflator works and see its features in action as I inflate the spare tire. It turns on with a press of the center button. And when you connect the nozzle, it will display the current air pressure in the tire, which is displayed in PSI. And as we can see, it's currently at 26 PSI. It wouldn't be a good idea to ride with such a low pressure, so we need to get this inflated ASAP. I want to get this inflated to a safe riding pressure around 45 PSI. We could turn the inflator on and shut it off when it reaches the desired pressure, or we can preset the desired pressure and let the inflator do all the guesswork. From here, we can set the desired pressure using the left and right up and down buttons and can set the pressure in 1 PSI increments with a max setting of 150 PSI. So now that it's set to 45 PSI, turn it on by pressing the right side of the power switch. From here, the inflator pretty much does all the work and will shut off when it reaches the desired pressure. Like most portable inflators, it can take minutes to inflate car tires, so at this point, you can walk away if you wanted to and do something quick, and by the time you get back, the tire is ready, or you can sit there patiently and stare at the inflator do its job. If you do, you'll notice that it shows you in real time what the current air pressure is as it's being inflated. I do appreciate that Ryobi went with a modern LCD display, which gives you an easy to read and understand reading as opposed to an analog dial. That's what my last inflator used, and although it does its job, I still prefer a digital display, as it's easier to read. So now that it's getting close to the desired pressure, notice that even though I set it to 45 PSI, it's programmed to overinflate by 1 PSI, which is 46 PSI in this case, and then it shuts off. And if you wait a few seconds, you'll notice that the pressure goes back down to the desired pressure. So before we finish this up, Let's check out the accuracy of the inflator to see if the tire really is inflated to an air pressure of 45 PSI. To do so, I'll use a rather basic tire pressure gauge. And with that out of the way, let's take a look at the reading. And it's a bit past the 40 PSI mark with two dots, which means its PSI reading is at about 44 PSI, which is pretty close. And let's not forget that you do lose a bit of air pressure from the air that escapes when you unplug the inflator valve. On the right side of the inflator, it has three attachments for the high pressure nozzle. A pressed adapter to use with high end bikes, a needle adapter for sports balls, and an adapter to use with inflatables that you would normally inflate with your mouth like beach balls and such. Although be very careful when inflating these low pressure inflatables using the high pressure valve as it can be very easy to overinflate these and damage them. We just took a look at the high pressure side of this inflator but it can also inflate low pressure items such as beach balls and air mattresses with its high volume inflator features. Instead of using the compressor to pump out air, it uses a separate blower fan to inflate low pressure items at a much faster pace than you would manually. This actually makes this inflator great for camping as you can inflate an air mattress while you're off the grid. Ryobi included a hose to inflate and it's wrapped around the left side and this hose attaches to the back of the inflator and the other end goes into the air mattress. And to turn it on, remember that power switch we seen earlier? We use the same switch to turn on the low pressure, high volume inflator by pressing the left side of the switch. And to turn it off, set the switch to the middle neutral setting. 
So let's test it out on this queen sized air mattress. Note that this air mattress has a built in pump and it has a cord and hidden away to plug into an outlet. But what if there's a power outage? Or you're off the grid, such as when camping. It wouldn't do you any good. But if you have this inflator and a spare battery, then you're good to go. So it does its job at a normal pace. It's about as fast or as slow as regular air mattress pumps and is why I fast forwarded this. And once you're ready to put away the mattress, this inflator can help you out with its deflator function. This is one of those features that almost seems pointless as items like air mattresses deflate themselves on their own. But an inflator deflator such as this one can speed things up. It's pretty much the same setup as a high volume inflator with the hose, except you connect the hose to the left side of the inflator, which sucks air and can suck air out of your inflatable. And as an added benefit, it can suck all of the air out of your air mattress, making it easier for folding them and for storing them. Out of the box, it comes by itself as a bearer tool only, so it means that no batteries or charges are included. It's really just meant to be an add-on tool to your existing Ryobi OnePlus collection. And as for pricing, it's priced at around $40. I say that it's well worth it for the price and for the features, as it's nice not having to go to the gas station to put air in your tires, or have to manually pump your bike tires with a manual pump, or have to bust out an air compressor and a hose to put air in any of your tires. And it also gets great battery runtime. I use it exclusively with a large lithium ion 4.0 battery and I was able to pump one empty car tire, top off another five car tires, inflate two empty bike tires, inflate another two empty hand truck tires, and inflate and deflate a large size queen air mattress. And that's a lot of work for one battery. And if you take a look at the battery, it still has three out of four bars on the fuel gauge, so I barely put a dent in the battery. So the battery runtime is way better than I thought it would be. So overall, it's an excellent tool. The performance is great and is actually on par with other portable inflators I've used in the past. I love the digital display and its many features such as the ability to give you actual air pressure readings. There's not really much to dislike about it. If I had to be picky, I would have to say that I'm not crazy about the low pressure high volume hose as the plastic is pretty thin and I'm not sure how durable it would be in the long run. But that's pretty much it. The rest of the tool has great build quality. So thanks for stopping by and checking out the Ryobi 18 volt one plus inflator deflator. Let me know what you guys think of this tool in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Google Plus, and I'll see you guys in the next video.